Dr. Bloomer, where can the average non-scientific person go to get vital information about ingredients and nutritional supplements? Well, there's likely many places nowadays mm -hmm. with the internet. However, if they really want truly unbiased scientific mm -hmm. information on a particular ingredient, they're, they're probably not going to find a whole lot on the finished product per okay. se on this particular website. Um, but in terms of ingredient science, they'll likely find a significant amount of work, if that work has been done, mm -hmm. uh, going to a site called PubMed. And they okay. can simply type that in, or they can type in www.pubmed.gov, mm -hmm. and it'll redirect them to that site. But on that site, that is simply the medical database site where they can search any ingredient um, or really anything that they're interested in, whether mm -hmm. it be a disease or ailment or ingredient in combination with a particular oh, okay. disease. And they could pull up the scientific studies that have actually been published in peer-reviewed scientific journals. Now, typically, they may only have access to the abstract, the short summary of the article. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, many of these journals are online journals, so they can simply click and open the full text of that article, oh, and they could read in detail about the article, which involves some background information, exactly how they did the study, what the specific results were, what the conclusions were, et cetera. And I often recommend to people, too, that if they have an interest in that, they can contact the investigator because usually oh, the investigator's okay. contact information, email address will be available either within the abstract or on the actual paper. And many investigators are excited to talk about their work. Someone's interested in my work, I want wow. to give them information okay. on that. So I get that sort of request on a regular basis from either other scientists mm -hmm. or other individuals interested in, in you know, learning more about what we're doing. So. I think that would be a good avenue because, again, the information is, is unbiased information, mm -hmm. and that's really key when you're talking about the dietary supplement world. Now, I will say that oftentimes the individual may look at the science and they'll say, wait a second, this huh. science is not coinciding with what I read about uh -huh. in this particular article. And that's true because, again, the articles are biased. They may choose to cite only the science that supports their idea. Okay. And they may the, may essentially neglect the science that does not support their idea. But if someone goes to PubMed, mm -hmm. they can see what the big picture is. And I think that's really important. Thank you for that information. You're welcome.